Hi guys, uh, this is a new Openbox V9X. Um, I just want to show you guys how to load um, your client or whatever you call it, your client, your gift, or whatever you call it on this box. Um, I, ju I just got the box now, uh, open it, and I myself find it a little bit difficult um, to get the setting, but obviously because I'm used to the old one, which is a V um eight um obviously i use my discretion to get this right uh this is the open bus v9 um it's got a lot of features much better than than the previous one and this is the box it's been opened this morning i opened the box this morning myself and um, everything is there it's been set up it's been configured but now i'm going to show you quickly how to load your um what's it called um the the client or whatever you call it now all right quick one let's go to the tv and then let's have a look from the tv yeah uh this is my tv and that's the box right there it's been connected and this is the box right there uh very um kind of uh, look like um star war <laughs> star war plane or whatever it's, it's very nice and portable um well uh that's the box and then let's go to our tv and now um, I got the TV scramble. Uh, if I press um, um, the menu, which is normal, it's the same thing, features, everything is there. Um, if you go to entertainment, you go to your BBC one, and then um, that's my BBC one. Um, that's working fine and everything. Uh, if you want to load your client uh, or client or gift or whatever you call it, uh, this is simple, it's easy, and that's where we're going. So first and foremost, all you need to do on the remote control, you press menu, right? When you press your menu, you get all the channel list, channel edit and everything, which is normal, like just like the previous one we have, which is V8. And if you um, navigate on your remote control to the, to the right, or whichever way you want to go, you can go right, then you go your installation antenna, uh, you can go your language uh, information, and you can go to multimedia and also this is where we're going and this is called um network net center right and what you have to do if you get to your net center obviously you realize that you have network setting web server upgrade by a network network apps and you have your latest news Obviously, something is missing here, just like the previous one. Uh, I don't have to talk much about it. What you need to do is also, just on your remote control, key in six as quick as possible, four times. That's one, two, three, four. And what you get, you get your cam set up. And that's your cam set up. And what you got to do is obviously um, click OK. And that will be highlight the network setting. From network setting, you can go down to um, cam setup and click on cam setup. And what you get, you get your normal CCC cam client setup. And also, you got a lot of um, apps here. You got SAT sharing. You got your new cam, which is the NG cam. Um, um, that's your NG cam. If you're using NG cam, you got your NG cam there. If you're using iShare, it's got IP feature as well, and it's got a lot of features as well. So if you go we'll go back to, if you have your C-Line, um, which is a, a new, new cam, you click on that, and uh, what you have on your screen now, obviously it's one, you leave it in number one, and what you need to do, you turn this off, turn it to on, and the next thing, if you have your host, your DNS server, you plug, type in your DNS server in here, all you have to do, it's, it's pretty simple, just highlight it, click click your OK button and that will come in. And so what you do from here is just test, let's put, let's put something now, what we do, we put a test, for example, let's assume this is our, our DNS server, so we put test and um, pretty easy and test yeah dot dns let's say dns dns server dot whatever you have so let's assume it dot net okay yeah 
dot net uh, sorry guys I think I'm I'm typing yeah sorry I got typing error there quickly and then dot net now and press the blue button to confirm and that's confirmed see then you can go there change your port in this case you don't have to do anything just type your number so that's your port number and in this case as well put your password whatever is your password so i'm going to assume my password is um uh, bat uh, that's my password i mean my user's name my user's name is bat press blue button also to confirm it and also your password go back to ignore the asterisk number in password in password just put your password as as well so say so let's assume that's my password press confirm and that will take it and what you need to do in this case click connect at the moment you can see the status is off so what you need to do once you sure once you sure of your host name you're sure of your port and you're sure of user's name you're sure of your password what you need to do now is click connect highlight it and press ok button and when you press ok button once you have a good connection network connection everything is fine your status will change from connecting fail right to to connect successfully that's what you should get there instead of connect fail you'll get connect successfully and that's how to do your 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 cc cam or whatever you call it um you, that's how you do your cc cam all right and to remove it it's simple r and you press the default 000 and that take it off all right and let's go back quickly um let's go, uh, step out enter and then let's if you go mg cam what you do come to ng cam open that you're doing the same thing here as well right fill that up change that to off on just <coughs> on and go to your host name your port your user's name put your password and you got your description keys is there you don't have to do anything with that one so you click on connect here as well once you have connect um, um, connection successful all you have to do is exit just to once and by the time you click exit once that will save your whatever connection whatever configuration you've put in that box and that will save it all right guys and once you finish that all you have to do is exit again exit exit and you come to the main screen all right and then from there you can press your you can go to your favorite and you can start enjoying your program as as you want all right um, i hope this is this has been informative um guys i'm just showing you i was just i knew a lot of people might find it difficult to understand so i just decided like you know what since i figure it out let me pass this out there to you guys um i hope you enjoy it if you i mean um if you find it interesting you can subscribe on that appreciate that thank you very much god bless cheers